mining Ethereum on a laptop. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to my page. Today we are going to be talking about Ethereum mining on a laptop. Is that even a thing? In this video guys, I'm going to show you the Asus Tough Dash laptop. It does have an RTX 3070 in it and we will be showing you mining Ethereum on that laptop. I'm also going to share with you guys at the end of the video do I think you should go out and get yourself a gaming laptop that you can mine Ethereum on, on the side? Or maybe you want to get it to just mine Ethereum, period. Is that something that you really want to go and do? I'm going to share with you at the end of the video if that's something that's really viable or not. Also guys, if it's your first time on the channel, please get yourself subscribed to the channel. It's a small thing on your part, but for me, it makes the world of difference for growing the channel. So I want to thank you in advance. Also guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you the winners of the competition. Drum roll please. The winners are James75. We've also got David Graydon and we've also got Emmanuel Nelson. James75, David Graydon and Emmanuel Nelson. Alright guys, so reach out to me, you'll see my email address in my bio, get in touch with me, send me your information and I will get $50 worth of Ethereum paid to an Ethereum wallet of your choice. What I also want to do is another competition. So what I want to do guys is when I get to a thousand subscribers, that's my next target, I'm going to go out and pay $100 worth of Ethereum to one lucky person, okay? Again, that's going to be a milestone for me. All you guys have to do to be in a chance to win $100 is like, comment, and subscribe. All right guys, so let's get into the meat and bones of today's video. Now guys, if you haven't seen what's been going on in the world of Ethereum, there's been a ton. One of the things that's been taking place is in China, tons and tons of people have been purchasing gaming laptops that have RTX 3070s in them, and they've been mining Ethereum. Now, I was lucky enough to get one of my followers who subscribed to the channel. He offered to send me his gaming laptop. So that's what we're going to be working with today. His laptop that I'm going to be testing out to see if this laptop is indeed worth somebody else going out and buying Ethereum. And we're just going to take a look at it in general and see how good this laptop is. And one of the questions we're going to be finding out in this video is, is mining Ethereum on a laptop, is that even a thing? And if it is, what I'm going to do guys, at the end of the video guys, I'm going to give you my opinion as to whether I think, should you guys go out and get yourself gaming laptops that you can mine Ethereum on, or is that something that I think you guys shouldn't do? Wait until the end of the video guys, I am going to give you my opinion on that, so stay tuned, you're going to want to hear what I have to say about that. Alright guys, so let's get into the meat and bones of today's video, mining Ethereum on a laptop. Alright, so one of the cool things we know about this laptop guys is that this laptop does have an RTX 3070 in it. Now it's not the desktop variant of the RTX 3070 which is going to be more powerful, but it's the RTX 3070 nevertheless. Now we do know that the desktop version of the RTX 3070 is doing about 60 to 63 mega hashes per second when you know when we turn up the settings and we you know when we raise the memory etc. Um, now this version as you can see here this looks to be doing about 40 to 41 mega hashes per second okay that's not terrible it's not great but hey it is a laptop laptops don't have the same performance as their desktop equivalents you know if you look at everything that goes into having a laptop it doesn't have enough space for cooling you know what i mean it, there are some things that you need to take into account now guys again this is a moderate hash rate okay so it's not blistering by any stretch of the imagination but it does open up the question hey is laptop mining viable 
Now there are some things we are gonna have to take into account, which I'm gonna go over at the end of the video. So it is a risk, but at least we're able to demonstrate that uh, this laptop can mine Ethereum at a decent speed and can also double up as a good gaming laptop. So I think this was a worthwhile test to see what this laptop can do. Okay guys, so let's do something fun. Let's take a look at the numbers. So we know that on this laptop, we can get at least 41 mega hashes per second or just a bit over. Guys, bear in mind, this is when you have the laptop charger plugged in. If you do take the charger out, the hash rate is gonna drop. So just bear that in mind. If we use that number of 41 mega hashes per second and we take that to a website like whattomine.com, we can see based on today's rate, we're gonna get $4.55. And if we change that daily rate into a weekly rate, that's gonna be $31.85. The monthly would be 138 bucks mm -hmm. and the yearly would be 1,656. Now guys, what I would say is that Ethereum changes all the time, okay? It goes up, it goes down. In the general scheme of things, Ethereum is going up. So you can expect in the long run, for those numbers to go up. Now, there are some other varying factors when we do look at the daily rate, the yearly rate, and these numbers, but this does give you a general sense of how things are as of today. We can then use that information and take a look and say to ourselves, is this worth me buying as a standalone Ethereum miner or not? Now, guys, I am gonna mention that at the end of the video, so please stay tuned for that. Hey there guys, I wanna thank you for getting to the end of this video guys. Now I did say at the start of the video that I wanted to give you guys my verdict and as to whether do I believe you guys should go out and get yourselves this laptop or another gaming laptop that has an RTX 3070 in it or an RTX 3000 series card to perform GPU mining. Now guys, my verdict is this. Ethereum mining is it's an absolutely fantastic thing and a new generation of people have come along and started mining Ethereum as well as other crypto coins to be honest with you. Now guys, I've got to be honest, there's a lot of changes that are coming to the Ethereum network. We're talking about ETH 2.0 which is coming soon. If you look at EIP 1559 which is coming in the summer and that's potentially gonna take 30 to 40% of the profits away. We know that that's because what the developers are saying at the moment, guys, I don't believe that this is gonna be a worthwhile investment with respect to you going out and getting this for the sole purpose of returning a profit on this laptop. Now, I'm not saying that's not possible, I'm just saying that there's a lot of risks and that's something that you should take into account. Now, if you wanna get yourself a gaming laptop and mine Ethereum on the side, I think that's a much better way to go about things because you can get this laptop, have a good gaming laptop, but also be able to make yourself some money on the side. I think that's a much better way, guys, to go about things, in my opinion. Now, guys, I do wanna thank Matthew for sending me his gaming laptop so I could review it on this channel. Guys, if you have any gaming hardware or if you have any mining hardware that you wanna send me that I'll review it, uh, please find my email in the bio part of the YouTube channel and, um, and I'll be happy to have a conversation with you and potentially review some of the goods that you've got. Now guys, if you did like this video guys, I am gonna be modifying my RTX 3080 and my RTX 3090 with a water block, so they will be liquid cooled, and I'm gonna do a review on both of those cards. All right guys, so if you're looking forward to that content, please get yourself subscribed to the channel. Now remember guys, for my 1,000 subscriber promotion, I am gonna be giving one user $100 worth of Ethereum, so please smash that like button, please smash that subscribe button, and guys, I will see you in a future video.